Hi! So, you guys seem to like me opening up Band Gamer products, but I'm broke. But, I do own some of their products. So, I'm gonna review them. Today, I'm reviewing the Undertale art book. The book is broken up into five, technically six parts. Part one, areas. As a big fan of Undertale and art, being able to see all the concept art behind it all is a dream come true. All the notes and ideas are so charming, especially from Toby and Tenny. Like how Tenby was planning on adding a water wheel for Toriel's house, which will explain why there's water everywhere and how she got electricity. Along with amazing tile work for Tenju, the stunning background for Marigo, and Gigi adding the final touch with lighting, backgrounds, and sprites. And don't even get me started on Tenby's illustrations and concept art that bring to life how amazing this game really is. If you like game design, you're gonna love this section. Next up is characters. Now, Undertale's characters are the star of the show, and this section does not disappoint. This is also the biggest section. To be able to see how Toby and the crew were able to create and polish the characters with each rendition is awe-inspiring. From Sand planning on running poker at a casino, to every single Undyne redesign, and tons of unused characters, ideas, and sprites. It's so densely packed full of creativity, and along with that, the print is amazing. This is my favorite section. I would go more in depth, but I highly suggest you go buy this to support the creators. Next up is comics and illustrations. This is definitely the most goofy section of the book besides the characters, and I love it. It's mostly stuff from his Kickstarter, but I don't want to show too much to spoil it. It's a treat. Next up is UI. Although not as cool as the last one, it's still neat to see how they're able to create the UI and evolve it. You can definitely tell how Toby was inspired by older RPGs. Last but not least, the cutscenes. Inside is compiled of all the sketches and ideas they had for all the cutscenes. A small but charming part. And well, that's it. I do want to talk about the quality of the book. I've had it for about a year and I've kind of kept it on my shelf, so it's in pretty good condition, but it's held together pretty well. Like I said before, the print quality is pretty good and the book is pretty sturdy. It's $26 for a soft cover and $12 for a digital copy. Now, is it worth it? Yes, definitely, without a doubt. Now, I'm a pretty big fan of Undertale. If they made a toilet paper line, I would probably buy it. But trust me when I say it's worth $12, $26. But it's up to you. Maybe you're not into books. But if you like the game, there's lots of different products that I will probably be reviewing. So stick around. Happy Thanksgiving and Black Friday, I guess, whenever this comes out. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to stay determined. Wait, was that an Undertale reference?